Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer out there. It's also the most treatable when detected early. Yet there is no innovation built around actually dealing with this. The user experience that we're developing here is the ability for an individual to stand in front of a device and in several seconds be able to take a full body scan that detects all the moles in their body, tracks them, and tells you any potential changes over time as well as any irregularities in each mole. They have a downloadable PDF you can get on the National Skin Cancer Foundation website. It's a map of your body and they ask you to measure all your moles and write down once a month the diameter of each mole. This is the 21st century and the best medical advice is to download a paper map and measure all your moles with a ruler. It just doesn't make any sense. Google can drive a car autonomously and that's a much more difficult computer vision problem than mapping one person's body. My name is Jonathan Swordland. My name is Christian Bailey and we're the co-founders of Constellation. The gold standard to, to tell whether a mole is actually cancerous is a biopsy. And so we need to catch moles and figure out if a mole is uh, dangerous much, much earlier. Trained dermatologists know that their visual inspection is not the best way to detect something early. So the technology we use today is really put a pair of magnifiers on and we look. To look at each and every one, one by one, takes such a, such a long time. So I think it's very important to have a technology that's easy, that a person can do at home, that can scan their body and they can actually have everything checked and we'll be able to save even more lives. We have a prototype working in software. We, we can very easily simulate a cancerous mole just by using a pen to mark the edge of the mole and it will look to the computer as if that mole has grown larger. I'll lay down my arm again and the computer will drive the camera to take another image that we're actually able to register moles and track them from one month to the next. And what the algorithm is doing is it's finding the mole in this picture and then it's finding the mole in the second picture. And you can actually identify which features of the mole have changed and give the user date stamped images that show the velocity that the mole is changing at. We've already achieved prototype and software. We now need to increase the accuracy of the prototype and then integrate the software with a beautiful hardware solution. And this is definitely a trend, not just among people our age, but even older people, to want to be able to track and monitor and be in control of their health.